Hi everyone, so this episode, episode 9, takes place primarily in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, and we spend pretty much the entire episode there. If you're already familiar with the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, all of the characters, the story, how the Dark Brotherhood works, I recommend skipping this episode and jumping forward to episode 10. Otherwise, if you're interested in learning more about the story and we focus mostly on role-playing elements in this episode. There's no combat or anything super action-y like that. So I figured I would just let you know before you watch the entire episode. So it's up to you to decide if you want to watch this episode or not. Otherwise, have a great day. All right. Hello, everyone. We are back with another episode of Permadeath Wildlander. Harada Bitter Breath Adventuring in Skyrim. And it's... Uh, it's about 4.20 in-game. We So while we were offline, we went and cleared out most of our inventory here. We uh, No, we did. I mean, we, we sold all of the extra items we had. Um, well, as much as we could, anyway. Uh, all of the... What was it? Just, just the miscellaneous stuff we had. We're up to now 20,000 gold. You can see it right here. That is fantastic. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to spend that on. Uh, do we still have anything? Our horse, right? We do. So all of our ingredients, right? A bunch of, most of these are stolen. They don't show as stolen, but pretty much all of these are stolen. Um, even all the spider venom, which we're going to end up using, but which, which is fantastic. It does two points to health over 60 seconds and it paralyzes. Uh, here's all of our ingredients that we have. So we just stuck them on the horse. Yep, and then all of this, uh, these we're going to have to skin at some point. All of these we're going to have to sell. Look how much silver we have, my goodness. So today, today in this episode, we are going to be exploring the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. And I'm very excited for this because it's been several years in real life since I have done this. So I don't, like, I kind of remember the layout, but I don't remember that much. Is that a dog? Um, sc <laughs> screaming. Some sort of choir with chanting. Just, yeah, I definitely just heard a dog, which was sus, but we're gonna give the correct answer. Silence, my brother. Okay, that was pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know, what, I, I think that was the, uh, what is it, that other Daedric quest, right? All right, so we're here, ooh. Fancy flags, very nice. No dogs followed us in. So that's reassuring. Oh, we're gonna definitely have to go through here because it looks like we already have access to all the items. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. I mean, it will took a while. Uh, so what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Hmm, nice. Um, when, when do I get to kill someone? I'm honored to be part of the family. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The Armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. Hooray! Nice. Uh, yeah, we, we can ask her all that later. And introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Hooray! Yeah, totally, you know, if, if that's what it's gonna look like, there's like no blending in with these people, right? Yeah, that's exactly how it looks. You look exactly like an assassin. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna be comparing this to the Thieves' Guild equipment. So this increases 
stamina by 60 points and renders you immune to most paralysis effects. That's interesting. Compared to our Thieves Guild boots where pickpocketing is 15% easier. So that's an easy win for these because we are a pickpocket after all. Uh, these are worth 500 gold though. So we'll help hold on to them. Next up is the Cowl. Increases damage dealt with ranged weapons by 10%. Versus the Thieves Guild hood which increases bartering by 10%. Let's try this on. How do we... How do we look with it? Oh, this looks infinitely better. And it looks like it already has its own built-in mask, right? So that's kind of an extra little perk there. Um, it seems okay, right? It seems to reasonably match the, uh, the style. Let's see if we can get a little bit better lighting here. There we go. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind, right? For now, we're going to stick with our barter hood. Because we need, well, well, we have 20,000 gold, but we always need more gold. Next up is the Shrouded Curious. Increases your poison resistance by 50%. Not that valuable. Um, it also has a reduced armor rating compared to what we have here. I'm surprised at how little this is worth. It almost looks like it's the least expensive. Probably out of the four, yeah. And then armor penetration with all weapons is increased by five as opposed to pickpocketing is 20% easier. So I'm not thoroughly impressed with the shrouded set. Um, so no, 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 it's not poisoned. It's a uh, resist poison. It's close enough. Okay. But you know, it's worth money, right? Uh, oh, we have a shrine of Sithis. Do we want to worship Sithis? That might be, hmm. <clears throat> I think we might worship Sithis until we get the chance to worship Namira, because I'm pretty sure that Namira is going to give us some really good extra buffs, but we are going to accept Sithis. So primordial force of chaos. <laughs> Argonians are given to Sithis at birth. Harder to detect by those nearby. Tenets, murder the innocent. Sounds good. Pray while sacrificing a human heart or human flesh. Oh. Send your victims to the void. Argonians are most deserving of your favor. Hmm. I mean, so giving up human flesh to sacrifice Sithis does sound like a sacrifice, right, for us. I mean, because we literally eat human flesh. I think we're going to say yes, right? Definitely. All right, so we're at 20% favor with Sithis, right? That should now unlock our prey ability. Um, unless praying... So there we go. We, uh, we have officially prayed to Sithis. Um, it requires a human heart or human flesh. That must mean... Yeah, this is raw human meat. So in order to get human flesh, that's... I don't know. I don't know what we're going to have to do for that. Uh, did we actually get the buff, though? Yep, here it is. So sneak sneak attacks deal 50% more damage. Not bad. Uh, it, surprisingly enough, didn't clear away our other status effects, like the nine or the, uh, the eight divines. Excuse me. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to look around a little bit. Uh, one of the first things I want to do right now, because I haven't done this yet, is fix some of the uh, the volume. There is no ambient sound right now, but I've noticed that the audio when talking to people is a little bit low. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. I'd rather boost sure that up a little bit. So we're members. we're gonna see if we can do that right They're now. So give me to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give uh give me one moment while we figure that out, and then we'll come back to right here. Alright, we're we're back. And now so we're gonna test out the audio adjustments that I made, and hopefully this will sound a little bit better. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. I Think? Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're I think that looks better. They're all very eager to meet you. Um, and um, so I had to increase it by like six decibels. I w it was like surprising how much I had to do. Um, so all of the audio now should be a little bit louder. And I sh we shouldn't have to worry about that. But we'll we'll be adjusting it as we go. Um, the Night Mother's Truth. We'll, we'll get around to reading that, right? 
Um, oh, these are all of the, the jobs that we basically do. This is the map of jobs, right, of contracts that's around. So let's go around here looting the place, right? That's what we're doing right now, Blackbriar Reserve. Yeah, we'll take another one of those. Uh, so we're going to play loot the place dry, right? What do we got? Lost Legends, don't care. Soul Gem, sure. Barrels, anything else over here? Eh. What we got? What we got? Um, unusual gems? Nope. Nope, we're not doing those. Uh, hawk feathers. That's kind of a weird thing to find in here. But we'll take it. Is this our bed? It says we can sleep here, so... Nice scaled helmet. Uh, we won't take it. We don't need to. We, we have enough gold, right? Amulet of Akatosh. We're gonna take this and sell it. Some nice wood. It's nice. Nice in here, right? Yeah, nothing, nothing, okay, nothing too impressive in here, right? What else we got? Lots of skulls and more Dark Brotherhood clothes, right? Um, gloves. Shrouded hood. Sneaking is improved by 25%. I don't think we received one of those, did we? This is an alteration book about Sithis. That's pretty cool. It looks like it's on a pedestal there, so we're not going to take that. Um, Dark Brotherhood crafting. Take the Petty Soul Gem. Anything in here? No, not really. So we, we have a level up, by the way. You can see there that we still have to do. Yeah, we picked up another piece. Um, oh, these are all... Like, this is all evasion, but this is all clothing. Right? This is all cloth armor. Um, that's what it is. So it's the same, but a little bit different. Sneaking is improved by 25. Right? So versus this, right, which is basically just, oh, like there's a massless cowl, okay. This is nice. I really like the sneaking improved by 25%, but it's it has no armor. So that's kind of disappointing, right? Inaudible, sh oh, shrouded shoes, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if we're gonna get into enchanting or not, but if we decided to, these would be like really good to break down to get the enchantments for. All right. <laughs> again, again, do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait, here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Didn't even see her. Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Always good. Hey, you. Oh, no, they're all busy. Okay. That's fine. I like her robes. Those look fantastic. Welcome, my sister. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. Hmm, okay. Uh, well, it's very nice to meet you. What, what is it, Vizara? <laughs> we'll return to greatness with my help. No, it's just nice to trust in Astrid, follow her orders, 
You'll do fine here. Yeah, okay. Uh, what can you tell Once me about yourself? I was again? a shadow scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. Is he I am a flicking killer. from the bottom up? Once again, have been given purpose. Life is good. Oh my god, his eyelids are on the bottom, not the top, like like a human's. I just noticed that. I was like, what's wrong with his eyes? Stay safe. Well, we were totally listening. Yeah, uh-huh, uh uh-huh. Spooky. Bro, where's your... Oh my god. What the... F Where are your shoes? Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. Um, it's nice to meet I'll you. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. Okay. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but my wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Uh, you should try a blue light filter. It's very Take helpful. care of yourself, Beefroast. <laughs> Is that my new nickname? Great. All right, Iron Jug. Yeah, there's a smithing area around here. That's pretty good. I mean, watch your, you know, watch your sink, uh, swing, bro. It's a little overkill. Uh, who are you? So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Uh, it's wonderful. I w you will hear even more, I assure you. Ooh, cocky. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. These people but are so unsupportive. I've been proven wrong before. Astrid said, uh, you have some work for me. Oh, you're Nazir, uh, who has the work. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Sure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either, but they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. This is actually kind of important. Like, I don't know any of this stuff, so it's like, oh, good. Oh, my God, he's an evasion trainer. Um, <laughs> um, how much is I'll it? I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to go for five levels in evasion right now. Just because we need it and we have the gold. All right. Well, that immediately killed 7,000 gold. Ow. Uh, let's do a level up. Because we've kind of been sitting on that. We put it into health because we always desperately need more health. Um, I mean, we're not really a tank, but... Eh. Smithing slowing slowly going up. We we have like almost never blocked anything. That's kind of funny. We've put them into marksman. What is this? Um, allows running while attacking with light bows. Uh, yeah, we'll do that because it's it's not sprinting, but it is running. So that sounds that sounds kind of like a good investment. You know, we can run backwards. We should probably unlock this uh, this quick dodge ability at some point. We'll get around to it. Is there any other more like pressing perks that we need to unlock here? No, I, I don't even know if we have the ability other than maybe an alchemy perk. But then we could do... Um, I think we should do alteration. The reason for this is because one of the passives here adds uh, resistance to hostile spells. And so trying to level this up passively is going to be really valuable. So let's see, uh, mage armor, absorbing grasp 
sounds helpful, but I don't think we're going to be able to really train with it, right? This is These are just training spells. Candlelight is what we'll actually be able to train the, uh, you know, our alteration with. Excellent. So here, let's put on a little quick slot. Um, I guess we'll do both of them, and we'll and we'll put on Mage Light right now. Um, oh, oh my God! It immediately just boosted us to level three, right? Great. Okay, that was pretty easy. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? No, you gotta you gotta throw it to me first. I'm ready for the contract. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex Miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Okay. That seems easy enough. Uh Tell me about Narfi. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Okay. Uh, who was the second person? Enodius? He lived just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. I was about to say, I guess he's right. Um, and then tell me about the mind She boss. separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate. A fighter. Hmm. And, and what about yourself? What can you tell me about ah, yourself? Well, I'm Redguard. As I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Nice. Okay. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Yeah. We have a lot of ingredients around here to harvest, too. So we'll we'll do that later. Though I don't think any, everybody wants to watch me picking mushrooms for ten minutes. Because there's a lot of mushrooms here. So we're going to explore for a while. Just because there's a great deal that, like, I don't remember where anything is. Oh, my goodness. Um... What do we got? All oh, right, this is the uh, the stained glass window that's back up there. What we got? What we got? This is a maze. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna get lost in here. I'm I'm already lost in here, honestly. Yeah, we'll take all these. Right, anything in there? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the the stained glass window right above there. It's pretty cool looking. Hmm. Oh! Oh yeah, we're not dragonborn, so we don't get any dragon shouts. Wow, wow. Uh, you. Yes, I yes, you're the happened. new family member. Let's triplets. make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody mother? talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. Uh, fine, I'm not here to make friends. Or we'll just, we'll just remain si <clears throat> silent. Alright. Go. Incinerate some poor bastard for me. No, no, no. We we prefer to eat them, right? Let's see. Who else do we have to talk to? Um, hmm. You. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Ah, I love that one. Um. I would, I would kill anyone who stands in my way. Some of these are, like, hilarious, right? It's nice to meet You're you. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun. And we look out for each other, just like any family. Oh, she trains in alchemy. Nice. What can you tell me about I'm yourself? I'm just a little girl. 
The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Nice. It's as rewarding as it is dangerous. Let's see what I can show you. Mm, I feel like I'd rather spend the ingredients than spending the gold, right? We can level this up pretty easily. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh my goodness. Um, she has some okay potion, you know, potions and poisons, but I'm not thoroughly impressed. Um, I'll take this remarkable healing potion though. That's pretty good. Eh. No ingredients though. She doesn't have any ingredients, only the potions. That's incredibly disappointing. Until next time, sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll we'll grab the Nurn root, the common soul gem, and the thistle branch. Who are you? New sister. May I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. It's nice to meet you, Gabriella. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. I like Gabriella, she's cool. Right then. Oh, yeah, she, uh, what, what is it? I don't know who's spider. I think it's the, what, what is it, the, the girl? Babette spider, right? I wish you could, like, what is this? Hastily scribbled note? What the heck? What's this say? Wow, this is a long note. Okay, I guess I guess they died rather slowly. Um, my scribing tools are lost, and I have no time for a lengthy entry. It's taken weeks, but I found it. The Sanctuary of the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, one of them, anyway. I've been watching them, the assassins, their comings and goings. The fools have no idea they're being observed. My next goal is to somehow make it past the sinister dark door into the sanctuary itself. I don't have time to even think about the dangers. The truth must be known! Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sure somebody else will get a kick out of this note, too. So, we'll leave it we'll leave it on them. Oh, oh, this is their body. It's like that's their, their skull down there. I guess they fed him to the spider. Okay. That's fine. Right, what else What else we got around here? We are, we are ready to talk to you. He doesn't Your really latest to to exploit you. certainly has the sanctuary talking. The temple contract? Oh, well, I was like, she talking to me? Certainly won't I haven't done anything. Deny my involvement. <laughs> oh. Infiltrated the position, eliminated the target, oh, my and goodness. made it look like an accident. Impressive. I'd say you earned your bonus on that one. Huh. What? You think me too old? So if we make it look like an accident, there is more we get a bonus. Good to know. We'll we'll try and do that. I think that's good advice, together. right? We'll and we'll do our best to make everything staged as an accident, right? Instead of murders. That's that's good advice. It's actually great advice. All right, what else we got around here? Glad we overheard that little bit. Hmm. Oh, okay, this, I mean, it, it's not showing as steel, so we're just gonna pick it normally. Oops. Wow, wow. There we go. Oh, well, we got nine gold. Okay, that's fine, right? Looks like we can sleep in any of the bed. Just, just pick a bed, go to sleep. Okay, that's fine. I don't think we're good. Oh, look, there's a thistle branch in a cup. Isn't that nice? Isn't that fancy? Hmm. Some other stuff like that. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be running around. We're gonna pick up all the mushrooms. Uh, and once we're done picking up the mushrooms, we'll, we'll head up near the entrance and we'll figure out what our, our next quest is going to be, right? We'll figure out what our next steps are. Uh, taking on a contract or maybe even getting some evasion training, which I think will be a good option. So, but first, 
We'll start with all the mushrooms. All right, so we're we're back. We went through the place. Uh, this is everything we were able to collect, right? I mean, lots of bleeding crown and just all sorts of different mushrooms that we found. So we're doing we're doing pretty good. I'm pleased with what we found, um, as well as the fact that we can sell all of these. I don't think we're gonna get into enchanting. We'll just commission it, right? So uh, we had some other questions for Astrid. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. What if we get caught killing someone? Like, what happens then? Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. Yep. Excellent. And we, uh, we're, we've taken that route, right? Where did the contracts come from? Are there any rules? Yeah, are there any rules? Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Mm, okay. Uh, where do all the contracts come from? They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. Hmm. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. I think that was 200 years ago? And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So, looks like the magic isn't doing too well over the past 200 years. And uh, who exactly is the Night Mother? I mean, we kind of already read about her. The but... Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void... She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's been brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Oh, really? Uh, she's being brought here? Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's Keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's Crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. Hmm. Okay. Anything you can tell me about yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. Hmm. A passionate love story. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Yep, we already did that. Uh, we're, we're just hungry, right? We were just looking for a snack, right? We are our primary food source, right, is human flesh. So, actually, we're, we're a bit peckish right now. So, we'll, uh... Eat some. We we don't have our water skins yet. Excellent. So we're down to thirteen thousand gold. 
I think what we might do... Let's see, where's our evasion? I think we're gonna throw a few more levels into it. We're gonna use the rest of our gold for evasion training. As painful as it is. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. Excellent. Employment's good, right? Job security? I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Oh, this is gonna suck. Five levels, you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ah! That was really painful. And uh, we almost got a level up out of it too, but... Oh, there we go, we gotta save. Um, and we're just about to hit 48 as well. So, it's pretty good. Excellent. So, we've come in, right? Oh, this is the book about Sithis, right? Um, oh, the story of Lurkai? Well, we're, I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel like reading that. I apologize. But what we'll do is we'll go outside. We are going to... Honestly, I think we might call that an episode. Just going through the Dark Brother... Or, yeah, the Dark Brotherhood here. Meeting everybody. Kind of exploring a little bit. Um, that, pr we were probably already like 30 or 45 minutes in. So I think that's going to be our episode for the day. We'll head outside though, because we have a bunch of stuff we have to sell. We have a bunch of ingredients that we can craft with. Oh, is it? You are exactly what I was looking for. Ah! Um, did you just talk? Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked, and I'm continuing to do so. You see, uh, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Okay, what would a dog need help with? My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument, and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've got things to do. Whatever. Let's let's go. Thank you. It. Now, okay. since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Hmm. Okay. Uh, as long as he gets the talking dog to leave us alone. Okay. Well, we, we know where to meet him, and uh, from a role-playing perspective, we basically just explained, like, look, we don't, we don't have time to, to go deal with that right now. Um. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we are... Oh my goodness, it's so dark outside. Let's dump all of our ingredients here. Uh, we'll take a quick look at all of the quests that we have, like wh where the kills are, and then we'll end our episode by uh, going to sleep and we'll jump to the next day. So we'll, we'll run back in here, right? I just wanted to drop some of those off to clear our inventory because we were getting close to our max carry weight. So let's, let's take a look, right? Our map should allow us to see these three contracts that we have. So, Narfi, yeah, we know that Narfi is up over there, right? Um, who is this? This was Agnes Mill. Where is that located? Okay, up near Windhelm. That shouldn't be too hard. And then, yeah, then uh, the third kill is up here near Dawnstar. Okay, that seems simple enough, right? We should be able to travel to these three locations. It'll be good to, to see the world, right? We get to see the world, kill some people, hopefully not get arrested, make make it look like, uh, you know, everything's kind of an accident, right? They're, they're poisoned, maybe they drink too much. Who knows, right? Who knows how these people die? So we'll, we'll be figuring that one out, right? Utilizing some of our, our poisons for the work. During the next episode, we are going to be exploring Falkreath a little bit more. We went in there just to kind of sell our goods, and we didn't talk to anyone. From a, a metagame perspective, one of the things we're very interested in is the um, Savior's Hide, 
which you get from one of the data quests here that you start in Falkreath, that light armor body piece is going to be incredibly valuable. Offers like really good resistances to disease or poison. I can't really remember. Either way, it's one of the best light armor pieces that you can possibly get. Right now, our light armor chest piece isn't even enchanted. So being able to upgrade to that is going to be really valuable, especially if we can, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to be a tough quest. I'm not going to lie. But if we can do it, it'll definitely be worth the time and the energy and the reward. So we might even be able to do it utilizing some of our different poisons. We'll probably have to get a follower, though, because hunting, it's going to be hunting a werewolf. Tell and brother, that is going to be true. really tough. The red so contract. thank you all so much yes, for hanging out. Um, in and out of Varden uh, Bell in less than hear them all hours. the way from back there. Blah. There we go. So thank you very much for hanging out. We, uh, we're slowly, slowly moving on up in the world, right? And I will see you on the next episode. Have a good night, everyone.